If you're looking to organize your lists and your documents in SharePoint, I've got a way to do just that. I'm going to show you how to use tags in SharePoint. So let's get straight into it. So directly from our homepage, we're going to go over to the left hand side. We're going to jump into documents. Now I've just set something up so we can run through the process. We're going to look at locations for photo shoots. We've got a bunch of different locations here and what we want to do is go over to the right hand side and look over here it says add column now you'll need permission administrative permission or full permission to access the add column so from here there's a number of ways of doing this but the best way to do this is by clicking on choice this will give you the options to customize this completely so let's just click on next and from here you can see we're going to add a name so let's add status and we can add an optional description so whoever is on your team working with this they understand what is happening here we can also have the type we can change that again we're going to leave it as choice and here we're going to add our custom choices so let's say we want to do scouted so we're looking for locations okay so this one's been scouted this one's been approved let's make this one the chosen and we can add additional choices in here let's say this one is off limits so you can customize this and you can also change the order of this so as you can see here you'll just click down on these six dots and you can drag it up and down you can also change the color of the actual label so you can see this is all the color that you have you can also remove that color completely so you can also have the option to add values manually. So you're not limited to just the choices or the tags that you've added in here. And then you can set a default value. So the moment something comes in here, it will be set as a status of either scouted, approved, chosen or off limits, but we can leave it none. That's great. We can also go down to more options and there's a few more options in terms of the display choices. So it's either a drop down menu or a radio button. You can allow multiple selections. You can require that the column must contain information. And there are a few other options. For now, we're going to leave this just as is. Let's say save. And this will now be added to our documents in locations for photo shoots. So now we can select an item. Let's select the very first one that we would like to create a status of. On the top of your toolbar, you'll see edit in grid view. Let's click on that and it'll give you the option to click on the space here, click again, and here you can type in or you can select one of these. So let's say this is scouted, this one is approved, this one is chosen, and this one's absolutely off limits. Now there's a few other ways, if you just exit grid, there's a few other ways of you being able to add tags. So you can go down to column settings and you can tap on the show hide columns and it'll bring up a list of all the columns available and you can actually start to define your documents or your lists with different types of tags such as titles descriptions ids maybe content type uh, created by when it was created maybe file size and you can go down the list and add what you would like to add once you're done you can just click on apply and it'll all appear right over here in your documents